So we have a lot to talk about when it comes to season one and Warzone two. Uh, I didn't stream yesterday because the game just kept crashing. That's like one of the big issues I've been having with season one as a whole. The friends list is broken um, and it, it's just really annoying. And I was able I played for around eight hours and I went, I'm, I'm not kidding you guys. I've only got around, I'd say, 10 games in of Warzone, the new Warzone 2.0. And that's really disheartening discouraging i know a lot of you are having problems with downloading because for some reason battle.net is not letting you download and just the whole like stability issue when it comes to modern warfare 2 and warzone 2.0 it's just underwhelming in my personal opinion don't get me wrong i did enjoy myself in warzone 2 but it's not like a tradition don't Go into Warzone 2 thinking that this is a better Warzone 1. It is a completely different experience. And some of you are going to like that and some of you aren't going to like that. And I'm going to get into those reasons why. But if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to drop a subscribe. Also drop a like on the video. It really does help me out. And we're going to have a bunch of uh, content coming going forward. But basically, the main issue I have, especially coming from a mouse and keyboard perspective, when I was playing yesterday, um, and yesterday, I mean the 16th when Warzone 2 came out, um, was the server issues and like the hitching. Like, you would get random lag and gunfights. And being on a mouse and keyboard, that is really hard to aim when you have like a random lag spike or like a stutter. It throws your aim completely off. But you don't feel it that much on controller because you have an aim assist to carry you through it. You're still going to be on target. But uh, just like an example, like right here, I'm in the gulag and I lagged really hard, man, when I was like trying to get like on target with the pistol. I just couldn't. And it looked like my bullets are going right through the guy and I end up dying and I'm losing the gulag because of that. That's really frustrating, really disheartening. Um, it looks like I, I would liken Warzone 2.0 right now to f be like a PUBG. It's just like a Call of Duty version of PUBG. And you can really tell that that's what they were going for in this edition. And it's like a mixture of PUBG, Blackout, and like Warzone 1 with like the, um, the guns and the whole loadout element of the game, which I, I would be perfectly fine if they didn't have loadouts in the game. I would be perfectly fine. Um, but they do have loadouts in the game. And honestly, I don't feel like your loadout weapons are that much power, like even worth it, in my personal opinion. You get them so late in the game and you're only able to get like max one really um you can buy like your loadout gun and i was looking in i was looking for my loadout gun um for like a smg and i only had like ars and snipers so i don't know if that's like a bug or something another thing is if you go to the gulag and then you come back you say you win your gulag and you still have teammates up and you get downed you don't go down you instantly die like you have to get called back in it, there is no revive for you you're just down and out like that's that's really annoying um, the gameplay is way, way slower with the map being huge, man. There's so many corners. There's so many buildings you can go in. There's so many rooftops you can get on top of. It's just really uh, under one. It's not simple. It's more tactical. And uh, that's I. it's to each their own. It's not a bad thing. Warzone 2.0, I would say, is like a BR. It is a BR. More of a BR than Warzone 1 ever will be. Um, because the movement in uh, Warzone 1 was something that set it apart, get your load out, and it felt like a Call of Duty version of like a BR, right? But Warzone 2.0 feels like a PUBG, a Call of Duty version of PUBG, if that makes sense. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I was finding myself, I was enjoying myself uh, in the game. Uh, and I was just having fun. Proximity chat is a really awesome feature, <laughs> really fun. Um, I'm glad they brought that in. But right now, just it's really underwhelming and really annoying to play. Uh, I'm having, uh, I don't know uh, if you guys could help me out with this, but for some reason, this update, I'm having issues connecting to servers. Like, I don't know why. It's really weird. I keep having to restart my game when I join friends. They're not able to find matches because I'm in there. It's something just like really weird, and I don't know the issue 
with it um and also like the, let's go over like the pc stability issues like you guys can see i'm getting like 150 160 uh fps i have like a 3070 with a 5900x and that's like the best system you can have with those two combinations like i have the best of the best when it comes into like the 3070 tier of systems right my system is really good most of you aren't on a system like that and i was watching like one of my buddies he only gets like 80 fps right and he has a uh, 3080 and a 5950x so uh it, it's just really really weird that like he, he's getting way less fps than me like i don't understand it but uh it's so so it's poorly optimized in my personal opinion and you shouldn't my my, my, my main thing is you have a good gpu you have a good cpu i know he has a good motherboard i know he has decent ram you shouldn't have to go in and tweak everything in your system to get the most out of it. Like, it just seems like it's poorly optimized, in my personal opinion. You shouldn't have to pay someone to optimize your PC in order for you to run the game. That's just not how it is. Um, the multiplayer shoot house, I do enjoy shoot house. Shoot house is fun. Um, it just plays totally different, and I, I think that's a, a fun uh, change. But we're going back to that color scheme of it just being gray and dull and depressing. It's not vibrant. It's not bright. It's just really dull and annoying. And let's go back to Warzone 2.0. A lot of the stuff that made Warzone 1 really good that like they added in is not in Warzone 2.0. Like you can't loot perks. There's no redeploy to balloons. There's no, um, it's just, it's really, uh, it looks like it was a step back and like they were just trying to appeal to the masses when it comes to Warzone 1. And I know a lot of people that play Warzone 1 are not going to be happy with this Warzone 2. Um, and I know a lot of people want like a small rebirth style map. In my personal opinion, I don't want a small rebirth style map because there's no movement. There's no there's nothing to make it fun. There's nothing to uh, outplay people really. It's just really tactical. And I feel like that would be super boring in a smaller style map. But that's just my personal opinion. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys have to say i'm really interested to hear have you been able to play were you able to get on um i know a lot of you haven't been able to download it it was like 10 hours for that download and most of you have good internet speeds right so uh like i said let me know down in the comment section below if you got a chance to play it or if you're just waiting on a video to see what it's like as always guys we're gonna say blessed to stay humble and i'll catch you in another video peace